What's up guys? So today we are going to be talking about gambling. Uh, I just wanted to make a video to talk about it and get my uh, all my thoughts out there because what I've noticed happening is a lot of people who um, remember the first conversations about gambling uh, have either quit or, um, you know, we just have too many new people nowadays. But uh, I, the other day when I was on my Iron Man, everyone was like, why don't we have gambling? We should have gambling. We're going to gain so many players if we have gambling. And then everyone was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, so no one really knew why we didn't have gambling or anything like that. So I figured I'd make a, a video and we'd talk about all of the concise thoughts. We would gather more opinions. You guys, if you have any opinions on what I'm talking about in this video, you can comment below. And then we would, you know, go from there. Uh, so I'll start off with why we don't have gambling. So the Duel Arena had an issue where augmented weapons counted the same as normal weapons. I believe this was either fixed or was going to be fixed. I, I'll have to check. It's been quite a while since, since that was an issue. We've just sort of moved on past it. For other reasons, being that, you know, dicing went up. So that was, um, that's why it was removed. It was was not because we were anti-duel arena or anti-gambling. Um, it had an issue with it, so we got to fix that and then bring it back. Um, duel, uh, the dicing was ba it was gone after one day. Like, dicing didn't even make it 24 hours. If you go watch my videos or just look at, like, the timestamps for my videos, it'll be like, dicing was released, dicing's removed. And, uh, and like, in one day's fair. I think every single dice... Um, was a was a part of a scam. Like I don't think an actual legitimate dice duel or, or you know I don't know what you'd call a game of dice. Uh, I don't think a single one was legit. So after that, it was it, you know pretty it left a pretty bad taste in my mouth. Really, everything that's ever gone you know see the thing with gambling is for every one instance of somebody gambling and going oh darn I lost or oh darn I won I'm gonna go move on with my life. There's there's ten instances of somebody losing their mind losing their shit. Or, or flaming. We had a staff member, Nick, and I'm going to name and shame, so if you want to know why Nick is no longer a staff member, Nick was in a really interesting situation from at least my standpoint, because there was no logical reason for him to scan, right? So he had lost his last Tebow, and it would have made him, uh, in his words, poor, right? And he, he had a couple, I checked his bank, he had a couple things, right? But the thing was, he had lost the Tebow, right? So let's just pretend this juggernaut is the Tebow. He loses it, but he kept it on his account because he didn't pay out, right? So... His logic for not paying out was that he'd be poor if he paid out. But but I was like, there's there's zero, there's that makes no sense to do that because you're going to get banned. You can't just scam somebody because it's going to make you poor. And his point was, well, I don't want to play if I'm if I'm poor. So he so and I, so I'm like, okay, well you're going to get banned if you don't pay out. If you pay out, you have you know you you might not have anything right, but you can still at least rebuild and you're not banned. You're not being a scumbag, right? But he's like, no, I'd rather choose to be a scumbag and not pay out, knowing, like, I'm going to get banned. Like, I actually, we, we had this conversation in Staff Zone where he said he'd rather just be banned than pay out and be poor. So he's banned. He's gone. We had another situation with another member, Kalyan, who I don't know why he thinks he would be forgiven. He tried to come back, and he's like, oh, bro, it's the past is the past. And I was like, no, go fuck yourself. Um, and, and, and the chance you'd see this video, go fuck yourself. But this is what he did. So he comes back. He had quit. And he comes back and, you know, I don't remember the exact instances or what was wrong with his account, but for some reason we had to, like, recover his account. So I remember John was a part of it, I believe, and he was one of the main ones that looked at. So we spent, like, ten minutes figuring out what's wrong with his account. We, we got it. I think he, he, I think he was missing something, too. I don't recall. He probably was just lying about it because, I mean, given, given what happened afterwards, he was probably just lying. But I think he got some things refunded and we were, you know, we, we spent, like, 20 minutes hooking up his account. We get his account back. He gambles all of it right away, loses, and then deletes our Discord because apparently he had made our first Discord. So like after after 20 minutes of, of you know helping him out, he immediately gambles, loses it all, and then just deletes our Discord out of nowhere. He 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 had been he had de he had, I think he was I think he resigned. I don't think he was demoted. I don't recall, but he had resigned and was had owned our Discord for like a year or, or at least a half a year. I don't know, a long time without doing anything. Come back randomly, come, comes back randomly one day, stakes all of his money, loses, and then rage quits and deletes our Discord. Um, it's just, it's just gotten to the point where it's like every single time I've ever had to deal with gambling, it's gone like that way. You know, there's, there's zero, I mean, and I guess there would be really no way to know if a good gamble happened. Because if a good gamble happened, I wouldn't hear about it, right? Everybody would just go their own ways. So that's really a part of it. It's, it's people think that the opinions are just based on what I think will happen, right? It's not what I think, it's what happened. I've, this, the server has is, is been on for over two years, over two years. We've had, a lot of, we've had a lot of people play. We've had a lot of shenanigans, right? I don't, I don't base 
this stuff off of what I think will happen if we have gambling. It's, it's memories. It's memories. Stuff happened, right? So, I understand the need for gambling. I, I think a lot of people enjoy it. It's, it's really just a part of RuneScape culture nowadays, um, whether we like that or not. And what I've, what I've, one of the things that has made me lean back towards, like, actually, um, you know, adding gambling back is I think that, you know, we had a period um, on Revival the last, I don't know, two months or so where there's just been a lot of tux toxicity. It's gone down since one single person's removed. That's funny that one single person can have that much effect on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it's been really toxic lately. And I think a big part of why it's toxic is those bored people who have completed the game, they have, you know, all the max wealth, they're one of these AFKers at home, who I don't know why you AFK anymore, because the looting balloon is gone, we just, we just, just, we just gotta add AFK timer, but, uh, you know, they just sit here, they got all the money, they really don't have a whole lot to do, and I mean, whenever a new update comes out, they do that for like 10 minutes to get bored, and then go right back to it, they just, they just trash, they just trash talk, that's it, like, oh yeah, I forgot he's here, they just trash talk, like, that's their only fun in the game at this point, is starting fights with other people, and you can you can see it because nothing will be happening, and they'll just they'll just like stop, they'll just start talking shit over yell, just that anybody, just a random like troll comment, just to see who bites, and then they just they just have at it, and I think uh, that's one of the, the benefits to gambling. I feel like with gambling, instead of whining and fighting over a yell, they would be at the gambling spot, either losing their money to each other or whining and fighting there, and then you know eventually one of them would quit. I know it's, I mean, the downside to gambling for me, one of the big things is it's, it's, a lot of people just don't, they just don't have, like, they don't have control over those impulses. They get bored, right, right? So, like, right now, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, I mean, no one's, no one's really talking. There's no events going on. It'd be boring, right? And if you, if you didn't, if you weren't interested in Blast Invasion, the, the most recent update, or you didn't really, you know, you, you already had done it a lot, you, you'd be bored. And, and you, I, I think a lot of people just get bored. And you can see it when they quit. Whenever people quit, a lot of the times they want to do these massive drop parties or just give it all away. I don't know what that logic is. I, I don't know if it's you're trying to make yourself never come back. I don't know if that's the logic. And if that's the logic, then, I mean, I guess I get your point. But has it worked? <laughs> have, have you? I mean, RuneScape's a game that's kind of hard to quit. You know, it's got that weird... Like, you just well, you want to take breaks from it. You don't really want to quit. So people always come back. They always come back. They don't think they're going to come back, but they do. And with gambling, a lot of them, that's what they're going to do. They're just going to stake their bank immediately. And then when they come back, they're going to say they got hacked. That happens. Like, I don't know why. See, that's people People got mad when we, when we stopped refunding people. And a big part of it was like, everyone just lies. They have, no, they have no problems lying. It's a private server. They want free stuff. They don't, they don't give a shit about lying or fairness or anything like that. I think like 9 out of 10 people would lie. And, it would, and, and we, could, we have logs. So we could back it up. I remember finding this log of the dude yelling, staking, 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 staking. He loses all his money, comments, yells, fuck this server. And then like t a year later comes back and says he was hacked. I, maybe he doesn't even remember that happened. I have no clue. I don't know, I don't know if it's always malicious intent. I just assume so because, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm, I'm, pe I'm pessimistic like that. But um, I feel like I've rammed a little bit on, uh, a little bit too far with that, so... Let's talk about the future. Will we have gambling again? So, right, I just mentioned that I think that one thing it could do positively, um, and I always, I always brought up that debate with players. Like, if you can positively explain to me why you think gambling would be good or the pros and cons of it, we can, you know, we can discuss it. But no one ever really gave me anything. They just always make up lies. Like, oh, you're going to gain a bunch of money because people are going to... We're going to gain 100 players on the server immediately once you have gambling. Just stuff like... Just stupid stuff like that that's based on nothing. Just based on, on, on thin air. And, um, but I do think one of the actual benefits would be that, that those toxic players would have a more focus, you know, on their, uh, they could, they could focus all their energy in, their, in a different, you know, a place where not everyone's seeing it and not everyone has to deal with it. And I know you, you can say just, oh, why don't we ban the people? And, and that's, I mean, apparently it does kind of work because we banned the one person who's temporarily banned and, and everything has been perfectly fine since then. But it's just like a new person, a new troll is always going to, is always around the corner. The second we ban one troll, there's a new troll that's just in is in the lurking, and he's about to join the server, and he'll be just as bad. So that's why I don't think really muting people or banning people is is a good solution. Um, so having their focus on that that could help. And if they did somehow, I, I mean, I I don't want to say people quitting is ever a good thing, but if those people quit, you know, you don't, you don't lose any sleep or anything, you know, and the show goes on. Um, 
So I think that that's one benefit. I think that people uh, like gambling. I, I know that they do. I know it's a big part of the community. You, you, you always have new players that don't know the server very well. Um, they're always interested in it. Um, so I, 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 I want to do some form again. And, and I've talked about this idea before. I've pitched it in-game. This was, uh, I believe John came up with the idea, and um, I, I think it was John and Dark. They both kind of workshopped it together. But the idea is two goblins, red goblin versus blue goblin, they would fight, and you could bet money on who you thought would win. That was going to be one of our um, gambling methods. Um, I really like that idea. I think we, we like that idea as a collective group. So it's something I want to see at some point, but it's just one of those things where that's what, that's what Dark's working on, so that's on his to-do list. Um, I don't really know when, when and if we'll ever see it, but I do like that idea. And I think it goes, the, the main important thing with gambling on Revival, at least, at least if we ever have gambling again, it's going to have to have these two things. Um, one being no trust can be involved. I, I just I just don't trust anybody. I don't trust I don't trust players, and I don't think you should either. There's a lot of scumbags um, in the in the RSPS community that that will just scam for or, or lie for nothing for free. Like they don't care. It doesn't even it doesn't even like affect their 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 um, conscience or anything. So any method we would have would have to require no trust. Like you would have some sort of system that saves your money, like similar to the Duel Arena. Or the, the dual goblins, you would not ever actually put... You wouldn't give anybody, any any actual person money. It would be all, you know, that. So I think having no trust involved is the way to go. And then making it so that it's kind of inconvenient to, like, YOLO your entire bank, right? I think that's another thing. Because there's not... Because like, most gamblers that are actually, like, hardcore gamblers are going to be gambling 24-7. That's, like, their main thing that they're doing. They're not going to be YOLOing their bank. At least not until they're cleaned. But for a very good chunk of time, they're not going to be... Yoloing their bank, right? So and we don't want, and, and we don't want to have people who are just temporarily bored, have impulse control problems, and just go, oh, you know what? I'm gonna yolo my bank. Maybe that'll be fun. Maybe that'll that'll repeak my. And I think a lot of it comes down to just losing interest in a server. I think that's very real. Burnout is real. I talk about it all the time. Um, and players get burnt out. I mean, they, they they do. They get burnt out. I know you guys do. So, you know, having a, in a system where it was kind of hard to do all your items or something like that. You know, that could not work. Another pro could be that if it was cash only, I know the dual arena is cash only at the moment, and I would think that the dual goblins would also be cash only. That could maybe, I don't know, um, make cash more valuable or more desired. I think one problem with revival now is that cash just doesn't have a very good value. No one, no one, no one wants cash because they don't trust that they can use that, then use that cash to buy something else. You know what I mean? Like that's the whole point of currency. Currencies has no value. It's it's the the, the whole value of a dollar is that you know that you can take that dollar and then use it for something you do want, right? You sell something, get the dollar, and then buy something you do want, rather than just straight up trading, right? So I think that's one problem we do have on Revival, is that no one really trusts coins or, or has any faith in the currency. And that is a real issue we have. So if, you had, if that was the only way gamblers could gamble, that would incentivize them to buy items from people to, to gain cash to then keep gambling. So I do see the benefit in that. Um, I, don't, I know a lot of people are anti-gambling like myself, um, and I, and I you just have to understand it that like I you know I have my my strong opinions about it so just know that any form of gambling we have um, wasn't just rushed or it wasn't a, a cash decision like the, the gambling thing won't be any donator related things dicing kind of was but like I said every single dice was involved as a scam so it didn't even really matter um, you know I, I it's just this is the, the main point of this video I want you guys to know I want you to take away from it is that. I, I don't want to not, you know, work with you. I don't want to be a dictator. I, I know that a lot of people are interested. If I if it was a poll thing, I would I would think around 20 to 30 percent would be in favor of it. About 20 to 30 percent would be against it, and then about 20 30 percent would be, you know, like yeah, whatever. So I know that there's like a third of the community that that is interested in it. It's just a matter of of figuring out what we want to do and when we want to do it. So uh, the takeaways from this video: we will have gambling back at some point. Um, if it goes wrong, probably, I mean, like, I don't know, uh, see, that's the thing, is, like, with the trust, with the, without re removing the trust, I don't think it will go wrong. Sure, you'll have people rage quit because they lost their money, that's gonna happen, that's just a part of it. You'll have people who flame because they lost money, that's gonna be a part of it, but I think those people do, people do that anyways, people rage quit and drop their part, you know, the stuff at home, people fight and flame over top, you know, over the yell. 
So I'm, I'm a little more interested in trying it again. I think that it could, see, you know, I've never looked at the positives of it because no one ever really gave them to me. But as we've moved on more, I've, you know, I'm starting to understand them. I'm starting to see them. So if you have any thoughts, any suggestions, if you like any of the ideas, I know this is a very rambly video. I probably shouldn't make videos when I first wake up because my brain ain't working no goods. No goods. No, 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 no brainsies. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will have a new video for you tomorrow, hopefully.